In this video, you're going to see how to create KPIs in Power Pivot with Excel. KPI is short for Key Performance Indicator. It's a visual representation that quickly allows users to see if a target is being met. This enables decision makers to locate potential performance issues and find solutions. In this example, we have a data set of daily sales and related costs by branch location. We're going to create two KPIs in this video. The first will be total sales revenue by branch versus the company sales goal amount. The second KPI will be on the ratio of variable costs to sales by location to see how efficient each branch is in managing its expenses. Before we begin, make sure Power Pivot is enabled. Go to File, then Options. Then click on Add-ins. Select COM add-ins from the drop-down list at the bottom and click Go. If the Power Pivot for Excel box is not already checked, select it and click OK. We'll begin with a KPI on the sales goal. Click anywhere in the data set and go to the Insert ribbon. Select Pivot Table, then from Table slash Range. We'll add it to a new sheet. Make sure to select the option to add this to the data model and click OK. Next, go to the Power Pivot ribbon and select Manage. This shows the data view of our data set. At the top right, click on the diagram view. Here, we'll change the table name from range to something more descriptive like sales versus costs. Then we'll go back to the data view to add a measure field because only this type of field can be used for a KPI. In the first blank row below our data, click in the cell and hit equals. Note that the formula is displayed in the formula bar at the top. Type the sum function followed by an opening parentheses. Our table name and its fields will appear. Select daily sales and remember to add a closing parentheses and hit enter. We'll change the name of this measure field to total sales. Next, we'll format this new measure field in an accounting style. Then we'll go back to the worksheet where our pivot table is located. We'll add the location field as our row labels. We'll add our total sales measure field as our values. Now we're ready to add our first KPI. From the Power Pivot ribbon, click on the KPI drop-down list and select New KPI. The sales target for each branch is $1 million. So we'll select the option for absolute value. Input the target amount in the placeholder to the right and hit enter. Next, we'll move the top end of our threshold to the target line. We'll click in the amount cell of the bottom end of our threshold, set it to $950,000, hit enter and click OK. To display the visual representations of our KPIs, we need to uncheck the selection box for the KPI status field and then recheck it. We'll also include the goal field to show the target value for sales. We'll format the goal value field in an accounting style. Here we can see that the east and west branches are a little outside of the target sales goal. Next, we'll add our second KPI that looks at the ratio of variable costs to sales revenue. First, we'll add our new measure. This time, we'll add it directly from our pivot table view. Go up to the Power Pivot ribbon. Under the Measures drop-down, select New Measure. In the dialog box, we'll rename it to the Variable Cost to Sales Ratio. In the formula box, enter the sum function with an opening parentheses. Then select the variable cost field followed by a closing parentheses. Then divide this by the sum of the daily sales field. Don't forget to add a closing parenthesis. Click the check formula button to look for errors. Next, we'll format this field as a percentage and click OK. We'll add this new measure field to the values of our existing pivot table. Now we'll create a KPI for our measure. Under the Power Pivot ribbon, select New KPI from the KPI drop-down list. 
Make sure the correct measure field is selected in the first dropdown at the top. We'll select absolute value and set our target to 0.57, which is the equivalent of 57%. We'll move our marker to the target line on the scale. In our red threshold area, we'll set the value to 60% as the highest ratio we want to avoid going over and hit enter. Then we'll click OK. Just like the previous example, we need to go to the KPI status field selection box, uncheck it, and recheck it again to display the visual on our pivot table. Here we can see that although the north and south branches are exceeding sales goals, the east and west branches manage their expenses much better. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.